All right, thanks, Bob. We're here with one of the newest members of the Nationals, Edwin Jackson. Edwin, thanks for joining us today. No problem. Good to be here. Good to be here. Good to be here with you. Uh, how's life as a National so far? Oh, it's a lot of fun. I mean, we 2-0, oh, undefeated so far. Um, it's, it's a great group of guys we have here in the clubhouse, though. Uh, a lot of energy and a lot of excitement, and I'm ecstatic to be a part of this staff. Well, you went through a lot of energy and a lot of excitement last September with the St. Louis Cardinals, and you talk about the first two games here, come from behind wins. You experienced a lot of that last year. Talk about the first couple of games here and how you compare it to being a Cardinal and what you saw down the stretch. Um, I mean, that's, that's a true testament of um, what happens when you battle back in this game. Um, you never know what can happen until you play every last out um, as hard as you can. And, and yesterday and the day before, you know, we did just that. We come from behind, you know, going into the eighth and ninth innings and just continue to battle and continue to put good A-Bs together. And um, great, great hats off to the bullpen, you know, who come in and do a great job of shutting down the game when they come in. And it's a lot of fun to watch those type of ball games. Well, let's talk about the rotation. Let's talk about the bullpen. Have you ever been a part of a staff with this many power arms? We have. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to be on a few teams uh, where we have a lot of flamethrowers, and uh, it's always a lot of fun, especially when you're coming out of the game and um, you know you're turning the ball over to some guys that can get the job done, and also just watching from the bench, you know, the guys that are going out pitching in those games and. Um, you know, getting the job done and pitching well, it just makes you want to do the same once you have the uh, once you have the ball on the mound the next day. So, how did your spring go, and what can we look for in your first start? Um, the spring was the spring. Uh, it was a lot of a lot of changes, getting a lot of work done. Uh, numbers weren't so great, but I felt pretty good. I felt strong, and uh, stamina was there. And um, I'm ready to go tomorrow, especially coming to the field. You know, you have that instant energy once the regular season starts, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun this year. So you grew up a military kid. You moved around a lot uh, with your father being a military guy. You've moved around a lot as a big leaguer. Talk about how many teams you've played on and, and what's it like to be on almost a different team every year? Yeah, it seemed like it's almost predestined uh, <laughs> for me to be a military brat. Then I come into baseball and I move around just as much. But um, I mean, I've been, always been a guy who understands the business part of the, the game. And um, I mean, I've never had any grudges from any trades. Uh, I never take anything into it. Um, I've just been lucky to have a chance and opportunity to play with a different team and I've always looked at it as as long as I'm wanted I can handle that. Um, it's when somebody's trying to trade me and nobody wants to get me then that's when we have a problem but I mean as far as that I'm always blessed to have an opportunity to be able to go out once every five days and throw. Well you're definitely wanted here in Washington DC. It's good to sit down and chat with you and thanks a lot for your time. No problem. Great to be here. All right back to you Bob.